And what's up people, it's Ajax. And for this video, so we got our whiteboard again. I like doing these free form videos. If you guys like them, let me know in the comments. Uh, but I want to cover the top five mistakes that people are making with GLP-1s. Uh, and this applies whether this is Ozempec, uh, Monjaro, Monjaro, or Trisapatide, whether this is Ritotrutai, my personal favorite. Uh, but this, is, this applies to all of them, okay? So let's just get into this. I've had hundreds of people that I've talked to who are using GLP-1s, and I keep seeing the same errors over and over and over again. And if you want to use GLP-1 successfully to permanently lose body fat, you can't afford to make these five mistakes, okay? So number one mistake when using GLP-1s is not calculating your metabolism. What do I mean by that? I mean knowing your TDEE, your total daily energy expenditure. When you are using a GLP-1, it's going to reduce appetite. That, that's what it does, that's its main overall effect. It's going to make you eat less. It will put you into some level of a deficit, but if you don't know what your starting TDEE is, and you start eating less, and you don't know what deficit you are in at all, there's no way to determine what your fat loss will be long term. The way that you properly diet, and this goes for anyone in any situation, you figure out your metabolism. So how many calories am I burning per day? That's your, basically your maintenance calories. You figure out maintenance, and there are calculators online that can do this for you, like the uh, like the Miffin formula, there's various others. This is not something that you need to take pen to paper. There are online calculators that you can plug in all your stats, your height, your weight, your gender, your activity level. You test that out over seven days, eating that amount, and you follow a macro calorie-based plan, and then you figure out your maintenance level. And then from there, you subtract 500, and you know, okay, if I eat 500 calories below my maintenance, below my TDEE, then I will lose body fat. Now, no one's doing this though. They're just taking the GLP-1 and saying, yeah, I have no appetite now. There's no numbers attached to anything, which again, you probably will lose some weight in the beginning, but long-term, you're gonna end up in a situation where your fat loss plateaus, you're having to take more of the, the drug, and you're not seeing the results well, why isn't this happening? You never did any of this. And that takes me to mistake number two. And these kind of combine together. You have no idea that you can calculate metabolism in the first place. Let's do a bunch of question marks. I've, again, talked to so many people. I'm like, hey, did you figure out your metabolism when you started? What do you mean? They don't know that any of this math exists. And this isn't black box science. We, we, the science is very clear on how to calculate human metabolism. Like we know how to do that. You can do this yourself. Um, but people don't know that this exists. They also, you know, macros. They don't know anything about macros. So carbohydrates, protein, fat. What foods are good to eat? Uh, I don't really know. I heard protein was good. They don't have no clue about macros. They don't know how this factors into creating an actual meal plan or meal system or eating system, anything. It's just this big you know, basket of ignorance. And then that takes us to mistake uh, number three. So you never calculate your TDEE. You have no idea how to even determine maintenance calories, any calories, anything in the first place at all. It's clueless. And then inevitably, inevitably what's everyone end up doing? They under eat protein. They under eat protein and that makes their lean body mass go down, probably more than it should. Maybe they lose, unfortunately, some mu actual muscle mass along the way. And muscle and lean body mass are not the same thing. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gonna make this video about that, but lean body mass is everything in your body that isn't fat. Muscle tissue is muscle tissue. So all muscle is LBM, but not all LBM is muscle. Now, regardless, they under eat protein. So not eating enough protein, not tracking protein, not tracking anything, not doing any of this. Again, weight starts to drop, it starts maybe level off. They still have more body fat to lose. While well, I'm already taking, you know, whatever, four milligrams, eight milligrams of, you know, whatever the, the drug is, let's say it's Retta, 
or I'm already taking X amount of semaglutide, or you know, I'm taking terzapatide, Monjaro, but the effects are wearing off after three days, but man, I still got 40 pounds of fat to lose. Cool, what was your, what was your fat loss system? Where'd you start off with, with your calories? I don't know, is the answer over and over again. Yeah, <laughs> this, is not, this is not a magic pill. This is not a magical injection. You still need to apply some intelligence, apply some brain power, do the math and follow a system. So we got number one, we got number two, we got number three, and then number four, exercise. They're not exercising. They're not exercising or they are just doing some generic, I don't even wanna say plan, but like generic workouts. Maybe they're, they're taking, maybe like the spin class, right? Like, hey, what do you think about CrossFit? Well, you know, CrossFit isn't, isn't bad. It's not necessarily a program, but you know, even this, I mean, this is actually probably almost too ambitious. A lot of people are taking this, not doing any real exercise, or they're doing like a workout that they know how to do. There's no linear uh, periodization. There's no, there's no planning. There's no progressive overload. There's not anything. You know, so this exercise is, is maybe happening or barely happening. No progressive overload, no nothing. Uh, again, th this is not a plan. If you are going to lift properly and train to build muscle mass, and you actually want to get stronger, you want to develop, build muscle tissue, or you want to improve your cardio, you need a program, a scientifically planned program, not doing stuff and then relying on hope, hope that it works, which takes us to number five mistake, I hope this works. I just spent you know, maybe $1,000 on my GLP-1. I hope this works. Metabolism. Nope. Knowing anything about maintenance calories, any calories, macros. Nope. Protein take. Nope. Exercise planning. Nope. But I'm taking it. Hope is not a plan. There is no peptide, there's no IDE that you can buy that replaces systems, lifestyle, habits, and personal education. Is not. I love peptides, I think they're amazing, but if you're gonna spend the money on using them, you need to have all this in place. You need to have some basic nutritional education you need to know how to follow a meal plan. You need to run some numbers. You need to have a system of eating proper meals, eating enough protein. You need to be exercising, follow a pl following a program planned system of progression, a periodized program. You need to be doing all this. Otherwise, hope. And hope is going to fail. If hope worked, you wouldn't be in the situation of needing to lose weight in the first place. So those are the top five mistakes. Don't let this be you. Uh, you guys need help. I do fat loss coaching, training, peptide consultation. Send me a DM. Join the biohacker group. Uh, oh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more of this kinds of content. Let me know and I'll talk to you all again.